house we're going to learn all about directions and directional language. So the first bit of language we're going to use, learn today is the word clockwise. So clockwise is the direction that a clock moves. So I'm going to stand in front of you and I'm going to do a whole turn, which means when I turn around in a circular shape, I'm going to come all the way back to the facing you again. Now I'm going to do this in a clockwise direction. So I put my hands together like this, and then the way that the clock moves is that way, which means my body's going to move that way around in a circle. So I'm going to do a whole turn clockwise. Now the next word that we're going to learn is anti-clockwise. That means the opposite way to which a clock moves. So if we put our hands together again, as if we're the hands on the clock, to do the opposite way to a clock, it would move this way. So this is called anti-clockwise. So I'm going to do a whole turn in an anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so clockwise is moving this way, anti-clockwise is moving that way. The next language we're going to learn is half a turn. So just then I showed you how to do a whole turn, which means I'm starting here in a circle going the whole way around. Now a half turn is like cutting a circle in half, like half past on the clock. It's cut in half, just like that. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to do half a turn. I'll just put those up there. So I'm starting here, I'm going to do half a turn clockwise, which is this way, the way the clock moves. So that is half a turn. If I do another half turn clockwise, I end up facing you again. Now if I do half a turn anti-clockwise, I'm moving that way, so I'll do half a turn. And then I'll do another half, and two halves make one whole. Okay, the next word that I'm going to teach you is the quarter turn, okay? So a quarter means, same as on the clock, rather than going half past, it's a quarter past. So we're going to cut the whole circle into a quarter, that means into four. So I'm going to do a quarter turn clockwise. So that's the position I would be in if I've done a quarter turn. And I'm going to do another quarter turn. So two quarters make a half. Another quarter turn and another quarter turn. So four, let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four quarter turns make one whole. Now I'm going to do a quarter turn and a clockwise. There you go, so that's four quarter turns and clockwise. Now, um, parents, what I need you to do is help me with this and do some activities at home with children. So you could either do Simon Says, returning, give them quarter turns, half turns, whole turns, as well as other things. You could um, hide a teddy somewhere and ask them to follow your directions, like three steps forward, and then do an anti-clockwise quarter turn, two steps forward, something like that, just try and try and find some treasure. You could also have different shapes or a piece of um, fruit on four different spots, so a whole and then each of the quarters. And you could ask your children, you could say, right, do a half turn, what fruit have you landed on? So I could do a half turn, if there was a banana there, there would be a banana on the floor, there would be a banana. We could start here, if there was an orange this side, you could say, right, do one quarter turn clockwise. What fruit have you got? And it's an orange. Okay, well, I hope that gives you some ideas to practice your directional language today, and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.